टू एंड द आर मैक लाइक द एम वन एंड द फॉलोइंग जनरेशन ऑफ मैक वी विल हैव टू डाउनलोड द आर वेरियंट ऑफ द ओबन टू सर्वर कॉज लाइक फॉर नॉर्मल लिंक्स दैट वी गेट इट्स द नॉर्मल वन बट द आर वन इज अ बिट डिफरेंट सो यू कैन डाउनलोड इट फ्रॉम दिस लिंक ओबन टू डाउनलोड सर्वर स्लैश आर सो लेट्स डाउनलोड इट software cause we don't have virtual box for mac m1 right now it does not support m1 max natively so we'll be using this utm it is open source and it is free to download you can just click this go to this website mac.getm.app and click on this download link it will start and you can just install it like any other mac os app open it and it will look like this so we will to install the image that we just downloaded we will click on create a new virtual image and let's just name it ubuntu i will name it to because i have one okay and uh, we can put it to operating system and change the icon to ubuntu like you can put any icon but it is better to specify so and now we have to go to system and change the architecture cause we are using the arm mac so we will go for the arm 64 version hmm this one and now we have to configure our ram i have 8 gb of ram in my laptop so we can put it to let's just say 3 gb and no, 4 gb is fine like half the, it is recommended to use half the storage cause it does not uses it all the time once you shut down your machine the like your ram will be free hmm. and uh, now we will go to drives yeah so new drive i will, we will make a storage for our machine so nvme and how many gb is let's go for 15 <coughs> remember that uh, this space will be cleared once you delete the image and it won't be all occupied all at once this is like the maximum storage and there will be a removable drive for your image usb yes um i don't think we have to change any other setting for now we will have to change some more but we will do that later save so this is our ubuntu 2 machine click here and uh, let's select the iso that we installed like downloaded mm, browse this is the iso image mm, so it is here we can click on install it will take some time let it boot up so we have to just install the ubuntu server and we will install the gui later on you press space bar okay <clears throat> wait a few seconds it will take some time to configure and stuff we have to select our native language so i guess i'll go for os uh, english and press enter that we don't have to change anything here right now we just have to go for an easy installation yes we have to use the entire disk we'll just come here done done continue your name you can write anything here i'll write my name priyam um server name i priyam 20 I Priyam. Priyam. One, two, three, four. Let's keep it easy, cause you have to enter it a lot of times inside. So it's better to keep it simple. And we should install this, cause it would be helpful later on to install packages. We don't want any of this. now wait for a while mine did 
so what actually we have installed most of the important things it is just downloading and installing the security updates so you can just reboot your system and if it like works if it does it like it doesn't stop and you see reboot now that's really good but if you get such an error don't worry your machine is not broken yet you just restart it okay so let's just And we have logged in but this is just the server version now we will install the GUI app update to see if there are any new updates sudo apt install task cell and press y with this we will install the GUI the Ubuntu desktop so that it's process uh, sudo task cell install ubuntu desktop desktop press enter So now we will start with the installation of the GUI, give it some time, let it install, don't do anything. You can just restart if it gets stuck and if it does not then also restart, it would have installed it, don't worry like you can see my profile here and click on it, let me go inside. So, hmm. So let's just click next, 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 next. Okay, so this is your Ubuntu installed, and uh, now we will make some changes. My resolution is different because uh, I use it on a big screen and I'm showing it to you on a laptop, but you can also change the resolution in your settings. You have it like your normal, like the GUI version is really easy you have your um, appearance um, display a normal clipboard here also so we we'll be sudo apt install enter it will prompt you for password okay so i guess i wrote the name of the package wrong let me fix that web okay so there is a so just like turn off the machine and uh, then we will have to edit and enable a few settings so sharing enable directory sharing so you can share directories between your mac and your utm that's really important and uh, then you can go fit to screen and retina mode save now let's restart
So as you can see, my if resolution also got fixed. yeah so now you can use your ubuntu and it is perfectly installed thank you